Hi, my name is Chris Sparks from the Brightland Smart Services Campus in Herlin, Netherlands. Uh, and today I'm joined by my good friend Martin van Konenberg from Blue Whale Ventures. And today we're going to talk about the pre-acceleration program. So just for a bit of oversight, the pre-acceleration program is the part of our, uh, our incubator and accelerator uh, called the Brightlands Hive that deals mainly with market validation and customer discovery. And Martin, can you tell us more about what the Prexler actually means to the user and the people who participate? I can. So basically, I first want to dive into one of the biggest issues in startups. So um, nine out of 10 startups fail because they don't uh, find a market need. And to find a market need, it's not something that you can build a product and hope that everyone comes to that product and you know is a happy customer of you. The ones that build a product at first have a very, very uh, high rate of failing because they don't know what their customers really want. And we created a process in which we gradually find out what your potential customer really wants, but also know who they are, how they think, how they reason, and then create a product or a value proposition at least that makes them buy your product or service. So that's a whole lot of theoretical stuff, but basically it means We've got a structured way that learns you how you can bind customers to your company. Okay, so let's bring it down to earth for a second, uh, get a bit more practical. What does the ideal participant in a Prexler look like? So basically, if, you, if you've got an idea that you want to you know, create a big company out, please go to us first before you start building a product. The big risk is that you spend a lot of money creating a product that no one wants. Mm -hmm. And the second one is you created a product of which you think everyone wants and you spend a lot of marketing to get clients to you, but no one comes. So basically, if you've got an ID or you've got a product that is already built, but you don't have cli paying clients for that, you're your ideal uh, Prexer attendee. Yeah. So, so before we get into like um, an ideal outcome of a Prexler, what could one expect if one was to, you know, uh, drop out of the sky, land into a Prexler, um, and then 11 weeks later, what happens in those 11 weeks? So, first of all, we're going to do uh, two sessions a week. And in every session, we'll have some theoretical explanation because you always want to learn why you are doing certain activities. But more importantly, we're going to do peer-to-peer -peer mentoring sessions, which means we're going to look at the results that you generated in one experiment, then have a chat about you know, what does this experiment and the outcomes of the experiments mean for future experiments. So then after two days, you come back, you first learn more um, uh, ways and methodologies to do experiments, and then again, you get back and dive into the data. What does it mean? And gradually you build up your first business case and create a value proposition that your clients love. Mm -hmm. So what we've noticed actually from uh, Brightlands Hive uh, is that this is essentially um, a very on path uh, way of approaching pre-acceleration uh, market validation and customer discovery in terms of everyone in the group is highly engaged to make sure that nobody's getting away with any denial nope. or um, you know, conducting experiments the wrong way. Uh, I personally feel that one of the, one of the, biggest, um, one of the biggest benefits of the Prexler is that uh, you actually have this support system with all of your peers um, and there's no question as to what you're actually investigating because you've developed such a scientifically sound way of investigating this. Yep. Doing experiments yep. with full scientific integrity, yep. replicability, and then at the end you will have hopefully enough validation to then move on with actually building the solution and yep. accepting, that, uh, accepting that investment. What is also very important to know, I think, you know, being the observer of, of this program mm. that I am, um, is that it puts the entrepreneur and the founders in a much better position yep to accept investment from somebody who would otherwise be able to negotiate a better deal yep. for themselves, whether it be a VC um, or a, an angel. 
What yeah, we you get, a, you get yeah. a better understanding of the value of your company. And not only as a company, but also as a person. Because what I want to add to this conversation as well is, you know, we're going to work um, on your company ID, but we're also going to work on you as a person and truly get to your, your personal motivation on, you know, why are you doing um, and, and pursuing the ideas that you have. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, create a valid business model, a commercial feasible plan. These two combined make you confident enough to go to investors and ask for the money that you need, but also put a clear sticker or, or um, a watermark on, on what, what the value of your company is yeah. and negotiate with that. So it sounds like, and of course, this is what we've also, uh, why, why we're partnering with you on this. It's where a lot of other um, Incubation programs are pitch competitions, but mm -hmm. glorified pitch competitions, mm -hmm. um, where, for example, they they put a they put a lot of uh, seed capital investments into the market, try to get whatever they can out of the market. Mm -hmm. um, this is more of like a, a sniper rifle or, or a surgical tool to really uncover one what what the founder or founders need, mm -hmm. uh, but also aligning them and their future team yep. on what exactly it is that they need to actually pull this off. Yeah, basically I'd rather have you not doing a pitch contest and creating business instead of doing pitch contest after pitch, pitch contest after pitch, pitch contest um, and hopefully bring in so, some customers there. Um, and, and other than that, I, I'd rather have you, you know, raise one or two times capital or, or an investment and have a solid you know, company, and the beginning of that is starting in a program like a Prexer, um, because it learns you the basics of what your customer really, really wants, mm -hmm. and the techniques to uh, scale that process from one customer to ten to a thousand to a ten thousand. Yeah, and and this is you know the starting point. You're you're laying the the fundamentals of your whole company in these. 10 weeks yeah and and so you know it's um yeah again really investigating the value proposition that's going to work and be replicable in the future but mm -hmm. not not really not building anything and, and nope. uh you know avoiding the number one killer startups which is yep. as mark andreessen has said multiple times and andreessen horowitz or atix a16z is the number one killer startups is building something that no one wants um so along the program what should what would be the ideal outcome in a Prexler program? Of course, it's not guaranteed. Nope. The market holds the truth. Mm -hmm. But in an ideal scenario, what would you say is the ideal outcome of a Prexler? So the ideal outcome of a Prexler is that you've got signed letter of intent, which means you know to who um, uh, customer groups, uh, to which customer groups you need to go. Mm -hmm. You know what kind of promise you need to make towards this customer group. But more importantly, you also know what kind of commitment you can get back from them. So a commitment means, you know, um, uh, a payment, a monthly, a monthly subscription fee, um, or maybe just data that you get from them. But you know how the model, the, the basics of your business model are going to work. So to whom you're going to pitch, what you're going to pitch, and basically what you get in return for that. And ideally, you, you will also have some first LOIs contracts being signed mm -hmm. so you have paying clients before you build anything yeah that means that after that you can really create that perfect product to the customers and you can immediately launch to your customers yeah so I know most important things uh, are worth repeating three times so I know that we might have said that a couple times but it's very important to understand that this is the USP of the Prexler program and the way that it fits into the Hive program as a whole, because there are six phases and this is only one phase of six, is that it is the first uh, problem-based entry into the startup life cycle where we only focus on problem, we don't focus on solution, but we want to scale you by doing this investigation first into a scale-up within one year. Um, if you'd like to hear any more information, Martin, thank you for joining us today. No if you'd like to hear any more information, you can email me directly at christopher.sparks at brightlands.com or find me on LinkedIn, whatever you need. Uh, but thank you very much for watching the video. Ciao.